Only a teaspoon of this in your morning coffee melts pounds more effectively than most fat burners. Many people in the world love to enjoy in a nice warm cup of coffee in the morning. We have many articles about this super healthy drink, and we probably mentioned that coffee provides many healthy benefits and protects us from many different diseases such as, Parkinson's disease, diabetes type 2, liver disease, liver cancer and it promotes the function of the heart. But we can also mention that coffee is a great weight loss aid. So if you prepare your morning coffee this way it will certainly help you lose weight faster. Here's what you need to do. Recipe, 3 fourths cup coconut oil, 1 half cup honey, use the same cup for measure, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, 1 teaspoon cocoa, optional, about the ingredients. All these ingredients have outstanding and remarkable health benefits for all of us. Well let's start with caffeine. Caffeine boosts our metabolism and it also keeps our energy levels high. The coconut oil is also very healthy ingredients. It's loaded with medium chain triglycerides and it's a super health fat source for our organism. Honey well we all know that honey is probably one of the healthiest ingredients on the planet and that it has many health benefits. And cinnamon well yes cinnamon is already known for its fat boosting capabilities. Directions Now let's get back to our recipe. Here's what you need to do, you need to mix all the ingredients and put them in a blender. Blend until you get a nice mixture. When you're done put the mixture in a glass jar and close it. How to use it? In the next morning you need to add 1 or 2 teaspoons of this miraculous remedy to your morning coffee while it's still hot. Stir it for few seconds and enjoy. This amazing mixture will boost your metabolism and it will speed up the weight loss process. And your coffee will taste great as well. You should most definitely try this recipe. You will be amazed by the results. And don't forget sharing is caring. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Stop adding Splenda to your morning coffee. Here's what it does to your body. Before we start with this video I would like to ask you a simple question, do you add Splenda, sucralose, in your morning coffee? Well, if you answer is yes, then you should stop immediately. A recent study, conducted by group of researchers, linked sucralose, sold as Splenda, to significantly increased risk for leukemia, as well as overall risk for cancer. You should know that this study, published in the International Journal of Occupational and Environmental Health, has discovered that mice who were given large amounts of sucralose throughout their lives develop leukemia and cancerous tumors. And now, as a result of these findings, the Center for Science in the Public Interest CPI, is recommending that you avoid Splenda. This study is extremely important because it wasn't funded with special interests in mind. Lisa Lefferts, MSPH, senior scientist at the CSPI says that for most food additives, the safety studies are conducted by the manufacturers who have financial incentives. But this is not the case for this study. Here comes another, extremely important question, how much Splenda is too much? How much Splenda is too much? Note, you should know that the doses of sucralose used in the study were roughly equal to 10 cans of diet soda per day. Yes, we know that nobody really drinks that much. But the real and ugly truth is that this artificial sweetener is found in over 4,500 foods and beverages. It's not hard to see how eating a lot of processed foods could increase your risks. And don't go thinking that eating just a little bit of it every day is fine. Lisa Lefferts, MSPH, senior scientist at the CSPI says that his means that even if you consume less, that doesn't mean there's no problem. She also says that when something causes cancer at high doses, it generally causes cancer at lower doses, the risk is just smaller. This means that you should stop consuming foods and drinks that contain sucralose. And yes, you should stop adding Splenda into your morning coffee. The best thing you can do is to quit artificial sweeteners. Even if you disregard this new study, there are still plenty of other reasons to quit using sucralose or aspartame. Artificial sweeteners may actually cause weight gain, not weight loss. Diet soda linked to increased belly fat. Every can of diet soda you consume increases your obesity risk. Sucralose disrupts your blood sugar and insulin levels. Foods to use as sweetener instead. Raw honey, fruits, dates, bananas, apples, etc., sweet vegetables, carrots, beets, caramelized onions, etc., maple syrup. 
We really hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you.